Someone's gonna get trapped on the outside, man. Things bad things are gonna happen. Little help here, Lee? Um If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. <laughs> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Yep. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. You got lucky that time! What about our arrangement? Get down! Don't think I can't see ya! You asshole! Lee, get back here! It ain't right! We had a deal! I see him! If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! Oh shit! I thought my guy was. This is bad, man. Give us the food! Shit! What happened? Shit! Can't you see? One of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. These fucking zombies, man. How many of those things did we push down? Too many. Grab by the head, huh? Oh my god! No. Oh, fuck me! Oh God! You okay? Yeah, barely. Come on, the gate's right there. Oh, good Lord, we got problems, man. Alright, that's good enough. It's good enough. Let's go. Oh, good, good, good shot. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, shut the gate. Fuck, man. Why'd he turn that gate on like that? Did he see them out there? Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, you oh guys, my god, what guys happened? Just he got shot fun, with an right? arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> yeah, he got I'm shot fine. with an arrow. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll you might have, have to push it through. It depends out. on what the kind of head it's what? got on it, really. Must be the what kind of shit is this? Oh, good We've fucking God. people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. That guy, when that they're looks ready like to go scope out already. that bandit camp, come find us. 
Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Where are the kids? Are the kids with them? Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Never seen somebody so damn excited about a swing in my life. I wonder how Paws is going to deal with the Indians attacking. I wonder if they'll, they'll have some kind of, uh... <laughs> I'll just stop there. <laughs> Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Yeah. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As I hate telling her that. people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Goddamn. <laughs> that boy's swinging. Uh, I hope if this guy ever has to run, he, he can do it. Because so far, <laughs> he's just a walking guy. Oh, look at this generator. I meant that meant thing keeps a fence electrified. Okay, that wasn't this... Ex Informative as I expected to be. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Well, there's a forest, so I guess it'll be all right. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You <laughs> saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. God, this guy looks like Hell fucking yeah. Joker or something. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. Why'd he not know so the name of the grocery store? are you ready store? to head out there and find their camp? Something's not right here, man. 
We'll go in a few minutes. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. I want to see if I can, uh, if I can talk to Kenny down here. Where the hell is he going? <laughs> I don't want to get kicked in the head by duck, I guess. Hey. Hey, Lee. Hey. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh... Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah. Of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head about these things. Uh, I don't really want to say that Did either. Did Duck though. and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny. You didn't seem too worried about Duck when Larry wanted to throw him out into the street back in Macon. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. I wonder if there's a way to get over here where... Yeah. I think if I go out this gate I can get to them. Not that I really want to go talk to this motherfucker anyways, but uh... <sighs> Don't even give you an option to talk to this guy. It's for the best, really. Chance up in there. Let's look at the gazebo. Oh, you can't look at it. Oh, no. Yeah, you can. Great. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. What do you... <laughs> It'll keep you safe from a hellstorm. Hey, oh, my God. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? <sighs> Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Fuck him! Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, yep. he's the asshole. That's exactly what I Look, was thinking. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. Didn't even need to read he's the next bad guy. one. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. 
and I love him. <laughs> Still hate him. Um. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. What's well, the first thing I've fucking I don't know. heard out of his mouth? If we just stayed where we were, with. then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting <gasps> us thrown out in our asses. So I wonder if uh, at the very start of the game, if I told him, nope, no gas for you, if they would just been like, see you, see you again in two months in episode three. <laughs> hey, what's in here? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Um, can we not open that? If there's not enough room in oh, the house yep. for all of us, Shut up. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Like I said, these kids camp out here in chips. Mm, chips. Delicious. Lots of hay. Ugh. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Eh, that's true. Alright, let's, uh, I think I've talked to everyone I can talk to now. Um, guess it's time to go see what's up with these fucking bandits. Which, I'm pretty sure that these people probably borrow themselves, and now it's our fucking problem. I like to go inside and see what's up with the dude with the arrow, but yeah, what Troubles. do you do? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some yeah, revenge. Yeah, yeah, we've said this. Hell yeah. Hell Who yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <laughs> oh, man. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Found it. What the hell am I doing with that gun? Anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This isn't like a bandit camp to me, man. Dude, 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 dude. Whew. 
<laughs> Man, my heart was racing. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Let's just save what I can. That's what I want to look in. There we go. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Nah, that, cross the line. that look on his face, man. This motherfucker can't be trusted. Dude, your hand was just like through the box. Nice clipping you got there. <laughs> hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Whoa. How could you tell recent eating? Just water. Is it was it steaming still? Empty. Gonna be some photos on what there. What do you find? Nothing. A video camera. Don't shut up. Let me see that. No. Nope. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. The cutscenes are really strange in this part of the game, it seems like, like, I don't know, like it's kind of pieced together. Nothing. I thought I could hit the gas can a second ago, I guess not. Part of that required him to set that gun down. Oh man. What's that? The hell? Don't fucking move! 